discovered that the resistance of some materials at very low temperatures will drop down to zero. This zero resistance state is called superconductivity. Two years later, in 1913, Onis won a Nobel Prize for his discovery of superconductivity in liquid helium. At room temperature, the levitator will not attract or repel with the magnet. The magnetic field of the magnet will just go through the levitator. This is liquid nitrogen and its temperature is around minus 195 degrees Celsius and that is very cold. This material will become a superconductor at the temperature of liquid nitrogen. Pretend that this is superconductor material and this is magnet. When it is at a higher temperature than critical temperature, it is not a superconductor yet, so the magnetic field of the magnet goes through the superconductor material. When the superconductor material is at a lower temperature than critical temperature, it becomes a superconductor. And the superconductor does not let any um, magnetic field go through it. Instead, the magnetic field goes around it. And this is known as the Meissner effect. Because of the Meissner effect, it lets the superconductor levitate on top of the magnet. There are two types of superconductors, type 1 and type 2. Type 2 has small little defects that let some magnetic field lines pass through. And this is known as flex spinning or quantum locking. And because of this, it has a stable levitation above the magnet. Type 1 superconductor does not have any defects, so all of the magnetic field lines go around it. And this makes it not have a stable levitation above the magnet. superconductor and it has a stable levitation because of quantum locking. As you can see, it is locked in space above the magnet and this stable levitation is not possible with type 1 superconductor. Superconductors are very useful materials. They are used in MRI to scan the brain and the body. Superconducting magnets are used in particle accelerators like Tevatron that discovered Top Quark at Fermilab and LHC that discovered Higgs boson. Superconducting technology is used in maglev trains that are very, very fast trains. They can go 600 kilometers per hour.